Come over here, we're going to do a video about low carb cycling, how to do a low carb diet for cycling. See, very lean is my qualifications, low body fat. Come a bit closer here. So, that low carb diet for cycling, how to do keto cycling. So, you're a cyclist, you're doing a keto diet, you'll lose some weight, increase performance. You heard it's really good for that. You heard that eating lots of bacon is going to make you lean like me, or lean like Lance Armstrong, or lean like those Kenyan marathoners who are all high carb athletes. You heard that. You get more power from meat. The more meat you eat, the more power you put out. That's why Chris Froome eats as much meat as a sumo wrestler in Japan. Chris Froome bulking on all that meat that he doesn't even eat. Why does Chris Froome look like a vegan? Why do you see all these people eating these high carbohydrate foods in powder weight sports like cycling or boxing, things like that? So it's why, why on earth would you do low carb? unless you're trying to kill your performance and kill your waistline. Where's the common sense in going for a five hour ride, or if you're like me, a 24 hour ride, or a three week ride across Australia or whatever, burning a massive amount of fat to try and get lean and have shredded abs, and then every day, every meal, you have three meals a day of fat. So you're burning 100, 200, 300 grams of fat per day. You get up to two kilos a week of fat burn, and you're going to be eating two or four to five kilos of fat per week because you're doing low carb keto. Where is the common sense then? There's no common sense. Why would you go and burn fat on a ride or a run and then come home and eat fat? It's like, it's like, it's like basically we've got this wall here, graffiti mural. We're going to clean the wall by doing another graffiti mural on there. Oh, let's get rid of this graffiti. This graffiti is hideous. Let's put some more graffiti on top. Now, what are you going to do if you want to get rid of it? You're going to paint it white. You're going to whitewash it. If you've got body fat, Where's the common sense in eating more, eating more fat? Someone link me down below. Link me down below why Jason Fung, Dr. Fung, ain't looking like Bruce Lee. When you got three billion Asians look like Bruce Lee who eat white rice three or four times a day. So what's going on there? It's total bunk, total bunk. I have met over the years some people who do low carb cycling and their, their performances, you can spot them. They're normally overweight, and their performance is shit. 100% of the time their performance is shit. And 50-50, they're maybe lean or overweight, or soon to be overweight with type, type two diabetes, insulin resistance, and too much dietary fat. There's a great documentary to watch from BBC a few years ago. It's called, if you don't like my style, great, fantastic. Go and watch BBC Fat versus Sugar. All right, they're the equal calories, twin brothers, same fitness level, same training. And then with the, the, the guy on the keto high fat diet, You've got insulin, you've got type 2 diabetes, insulin resistance, and the guy on a high carb, low fat diet was killing it. Brain function, performance, sex drive, everything. Killing it, crushing it. So BBC did the Duran Rider diet with two twins. Twins. Go check it out. BBC Fat vs. Sugar. Well, if you want to learn how to do the, the low carb diet, easy, just do it. Just eat bacon. Clog up your colon with bacon for grease and watch your performance fucking kick, suck ass. You want to be kick-ass? Go high-carb vegan. Peace.